Hello, my Floss Tube friends. It's time for another episode. It is. It's time for another fun Friday Floss Tube weekly update with me. I'm Annie, Joy Filled Stitcher, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. And you have reached a video and my channel about cross stitch. So, yeah. It is Friday, June the 5th. <laughs> We're in June. Yay. And this is floss tube number 55. Number 55. Wow. 55 floss tubes. That's incredible. I'm so, so beyond pumped to be here with you today or whenever you're watching this. Um, filming a little earlier this evening because I have some stitching I want to do and I have some Animal Crossing to play. Yeah, I fell down that rabbit hole. So first things first, I want to say welcome to anyone who is new. I've seen a few new um, names pop up in my inbox as subscribers, so welcome. I hope you hear something, see something that you like on my channel and will stick around. and join this fun the fun shenanigans each week i also want to say thank you to all of my returning friends oh you coming back week after week just means the absolute world to me even more so now than ever before so brief brief little update and then we'll get straight into stitching and then there'll be more update at the end um you might have noticed that i never did description box stuff on last week's video it's been a bit of an up and down roller coaster of a week and Saturday it just did not happen. I could not put myself in front of the computer and type those details. I haven't even watched back last week's video. I will say that I have read every comment, hearted most of the comments. I've responded back to a few and they have been so empowering and uplifting to me this week. And not just the comments on the video, but I have had more people reach out to me via email, via um, Insta Instagram Messenger, Facebook Messenger, just saying you're not alone in those feelings. We hear you, we see you. I mean, even as late as today, I know some people like myself don't get to a video right away. And those comments coming in have meant so very much to me. Hold on, I'm not sure where I left off, but <laughs> um, husband came in. He took today off. He has been back at work since Monday. Um, yeah, more on that later. But anyway, thank you so much for all of just the kind words, thoughtful words, reaching out. I feel like there is so much of a stigma to mental health, um, even still, even I feel like it's become more openly shared, but I still think there's a huge stigma to it. And it's very hard to say that you need help with those things. It's very hard to put into words how you're feeling. Um, it's not like you can go to the doctor and say, oh, my stomach hurts, or oh, you know, I'm feeling shortness of breath, or oh, this. It's very hard to put into words. So needless to say, um, I'll do a little bit more update towards the end, but I just want to very first and foremost say thank you so very much for all of your comments, your well wishes, your hugs, your hearts, like the heart emojis, I mean everything, um, and just your, your kindness towards me. And so many of you said that you felt compelled to say something um, because I so openly shared. I've told everybody since the beginning that you're going to get me 100%. So if I'm having an off week like I was last week, you're going to hear why. And if that's not your jam, I totally get it. If you're only here for the stitching, you can definitely move your finger across, wait for stitching, and then once the stitching or the stash or whatever you want to see is over, I fully support you piecing out and totally fine. Um, so why don't I show you some stitching and things, things that arrived in the mail, and then chat a little bit about plans coming up, and then I'll give you a little bit more of what this week looked like, just in case nobody's real interested in that um, 
I know some people watch all the way to the end. Totally cool. If you're not totally cool, that's totally too cool too. Anywho. <laughs> so, um, somebody mentioned last week that they loved my hug portion and that I should do that each week. So here is my weekly hug to you. Mm -hmm. So I've hugged your neck and I, let's talk about some stitching and things. Okay. Are you ready? The first thing I'm going to share, I have no finishes and I have no starts. So that's pretty good because I finished all my mania starts and I don't really have anything planned to start in June at all. Um, now there's a possibility you could hop on a sal here or there with somebody, but as far as I am concerned, I think I have nothing that's going to get started in June. However, I do have something to share that I kitted that I thought you might like to see, but I'm not doing that yet. So, um, first, and I do have some stitchy kindness that I'm going to talk about, but I'll do that at the end with the life update stuff. I want to show my progress on my diamond painting. So last week I shared that I had fallen down, mildly fallen down, a bit of a diamond painting rabbit hole and I had purchased um, a diamond art club kit. I have purchased three others. They are some of top quality. Like I've watched several other people chat about their, their quality, top notch. Now I don't have a whole lot of other information, like personal background knowledge other than like what my daughter does because I buy her like the kits on Amazon or the little sticker things on Amazon. She's doing a larger one now and it's just something off of Amazon and I will say it's got some waviness in the glue and some things that I've seen some other sorry YouTubers talk about diamond tubers talk about um, and so I have a bit more done on it. I think last time I'm kind of sectioning it off into thirds across I think last time I had two thirds of the top row done. I now have, I love how it sparkles. I have, this was two rows and then I'm working on this one right here. And I finished out Joy and I am obsessed. I love it. And I can't wait to get down to this bluebird. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit into his tail in this one and then in his crown in this one, this block. And so I just kind of keep this set up on a little um, TV tray that tilts and I clip it on with some chip clips like from the, from like bags of chips and um, just have my supplies. And so if I'm, especially if I'm feeling a little anx anxious, I sit down and this is very soothing to me. So I, you know, in the moments when I didn't feel like stitching, I sometimes sat down and worked on this. So I'm really enjoying it. It is a square diamond painting. This is what it will look like when it's finished. It'll say joy and it looks like it has musical notes. So you're kind of getting some of that detail right there. It's already starting to get a little weighty. <laughs> Um, and my cover minder needle minder is from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. This was their koala that they did for Australian Fire Relief. So I've got a bit more to do. The other ones I have are a lot larger. And little one has already voted on which one she wishes for me to do next. So I said I have to finish this one first. She's like, sure. And I'm like, yeah, no, I can't have more than one diamond painting going. I can have more than one cross stitch, but not more than one diamond painting. Anywho, so when we last spoke, I was finishing up Mania. I had finished up my all my Mania starts. And I had talked about how I wanted to kind of continue to go through some of those projects, but then pull in some of my older whips. That really didn't happen. I still, this last week, gravitated to some of the Mania projects. Um, but I have a kind of distinct plan going forward for the rest of June and then also in July that is gonna focus more on whips as opposed to these newer projects, some of the older projects, um, with some of these sprinkled in. Um, I really just pulled, I had intended to work through some enchanted stitching challenges. I even set up my post on Sunday night, but there were days, I didn't even stitch on Tuesday. Um, I've only had, I think, two days this year total that I have not stitched, and the last one was when I was in the hospital for dehydration and all of that back at the beginning of April. And Tuesday I did not stitch. Um, I didn't pull anything out. It is what it is. Um, so, but I'm gonna show you what I did work on. And I, I got a little bit of progress in a couple of things and I enjoyed every minute of it. And I actually found that when I get up in the morning, pulling something out and stitching on it right away gets my mind kind of to set on a good note for the day. So. 
I showed you some progress on this project on Friday. I did work on it some more on Friday evening after I filmed. So this lives in a Stars Hollow stitchery bag. And this is, I'll show you the chart out of the vinyl. Um, Love Builds a Happy Home by Tiny Modernist. And this was a market release this year. I'm stitching it in the called for DMC, which are super bright and fun. Here, I'll show you from in the bag. Super bright and fun DMC on 28 count Monaco and I believe antique white. It's the one that I bought in a contain in a like a tubey kind of thing from Joanne's. And I'm loving it. Which leads which leads to some of the stash. <laughs> but I got the um all of the dark pink of the house stitched. So you can kind of see where the birds are going to come into the play here. The next time I pull this out, I am gonna finish up the remainder of the house, which is the rest of the roof. And then there's like a little ledge right here that the birds sit on. I wanna get the house finished and then move from there. Now in the middle of this doorway is the letter A. Um, for love builds A, happy home. Um, and I like that it's A because Obviously it makes sense for the sentiment, but also that's my first initial. So I consider that kind of even like a signature of sorts. So I love this project. Um, I love stitching on the Monaco. Um, it is a little thicker than the Lugana. Um, obviously I like the higher counts as well, but this is a nice, even leaves are just sometimes as nice as Ada's to stitch on just because there's not a lot of guesswork. Um, most of the linens I have are really nice in that they're more even, but occasionally I'm getting some every now and again that get like, you know, that whoop where the, the stitch gets really big and then next to it's a really skinny one. And so it requires a little bit more thought and direction. So I kind of, that's why I have a smattering of everything because I like all different types of things for different looks. All right, the next project lives in this bag, which is from Be Crafty Bags, which you can find them on Facebook, I believe. And this is from Cherry Hill Stitchery on Etsy. And this is Bloom, and I'm sorry, my printout is not great. Um, it's much more, it's much more, um, it's much more vibrant than this, but then I even converted it and made it even more vibrant. And this is on a 25 count um, Lugana, two over two, so it makes it like a 12 and a half count, which I am obsessed with, um, in granite from Bee Stitch Me. And so I have a completed sheep, and he's so cute. Oh my gosh, and this, I love how this variegated. This is not two different flosses, this is one. This is Gentle Arts Poinsettia, I believe. Yes, Gentle Arts Poinsettia, which is a deep pink with a little bit of red, but I love, I stitched it around in kind of the heart shape so that the inside is lighter. And then this right here is a Victorian Motto in Desert Turquoise. Um, it calls for, so you're thinking, why is there a turquoise flower? It actually calls for DMC 913, which a little is a little on the minty side. And so I just kicked it up a notch. And so I'm really enjoying this. And then the face and feet is in um, Classic Colorworks. Nope, I'm sorry. It is in Victorian Motto Cinnamon Cookie. And I love it. So this is a fun one to work on. It will not go away for long. I'm so enjoying it. And then I have the other one. I have the barnyard stack too. And I've seen that she's come out with some other stacks. So there's the barnyard stack and I think she had a spring stack. I think she has a summer stack that's really cute. Um, which I think that could be cute as like a series to swap them out. Like have a finish where you swap them out. Um, I did work a little bit more on spring dance. This lives in a beautiful Garon Toten bag. Um, this is the dragonfly bag, and I thought it just fit it so perfectly. This is my crumpled copy. Um, this is by Modern Folk Embroidery. This folk embroidery. I have a hard time with that word. Folk. Folk. I still can't say it. Okay, anyway. Modern Folk Embroidery. Um, and this is called Spring Dance. And I am not stitching the outside border. Uh, the outer border for me will be these, like, delicate daisies. Um, and I am stitching this on a piece of 18 count from Bee Stitched Me in Mummy. 
um, and it is a monochrome piece for me, which I don't have very many, but I need more in this beautiful silks for you. Um, PR052, I believe is the number or the code because it's letters and numbers. Um, and I got a bit more done. I am working, um, because of how the pattern is charted, which I think is wonderful, um, it gives you one quarter and then you just replicate it around. Um, I am going to be stitching this entire middle square and then moving on to the girls. Um, so I put in this border and just a tiny bit of this moving across. I did not get very much in this. I'm going to tell you, stitching is going to be kind of pitiful this week. But I know why and it's really okay with me. Um, not every day is going to be a strong stitching day. I blew mania mania stitches were now granted I was on track for my biggest month ever this week I might have gotten off a little bit but I have learned through 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 some some ref, reflection and recollection this week um it's okay if I put 10 stitches in something it's the process not the it's not a race it's not a race and I have to keep reminding myself and that goes for life in general it's not a race all right, so next one lives in a Diddly Daddle Designs bag with her cute little zipper fob thing. And this one holds my um, oldest whip, and this is Mary's sampler. This is a freebie from Plum Street Samplers. You can find it on her blog. This week, I hope to have description box up, and I'll link it below. Um, and I'm doing it in pretty much the called for fancy flosses. And this is on an 18 count mystery die from Mystic Fabrics that I've obviously had for about a year because this project got started last July. And all I got done this week was the angel. But you know what? That angel was important for me to stitch this week. That's how I feel about it. Um, there's not a super ton left. I think there's one more angel that's trumpeting and then a bunch of stars of the star shapes. Um, but they're little and they're fiddly color changes. That's what I've said about this. There's more fiddly color changes. So I have to be in the right mindset. Um, I was talking to somebody. I think it was Aaron to Martini Stitcher. Because we chat a lot on um, Instagram Messenger. And she was talking about how she um, um, was inspired by me starting on May 3rd. Suffragette that she was going to pull it out the 3rd of each month. When I had already planned on doing that. And she talked about how it was like, you know, just kind of those big blocks of mindless kind of stitching. And I said, I totally get that because, you know, the same thing with the letters, the chunky letters at the top and houses. But you have to be in the right mindset for that. Sometimes you want something with a little more thought process behind it. And sometimes you just want to be able to like zone out. Um, I worked on the bat project that lives in this bag. This is the bag I made with some Wizard of Oz fabric. And this holds Wizard of Oz. This is The Little Stitcher on Etsy, and this is her Wizard of Oz. And I know a lot of you have said that you can't get past the no eyes because the lion is the only one with eyes. These three do not. I'm kind of okay with it. I haven't decided what I'll do in the end, if I'll add eyes or not. I'm not really sure why the lion is the only one that has eyes. I'm not sure. Anywho. I am stitching this in the called for DMC. We got a lot of called for this week, which is shocking. And this is on 32 count Lugana. It's Zweigert. And it is in um, Barn Board Check. I purchased mine um, from a seller on Stash Unload. However, you can get it from Fat Quarter Shop. And I did the scarecrow and he's so cute. So he's finished, Tin Man is finished. Somebody asked me if I started in the middle. I did, the middle is literally like right here. So it's got Tin Man, Dorothy, and there's some, there's a couple little motifs. Then it's got Lion, I can't really remember. Oh, now I got a oh, picture. And more motifs. So the characters are kind of, because Lion is a lot wider, um, it's not, I'm working through page one. Page two is not as, as um, wide. That made zero sense. Made sense in my brain before it came out of my mouth. 
anyway, but I think when I showed it, it was in the Q-snap, and often when it's in the Q-snap, I fold apart over, so it looks, it looked like my edge was like right there, and I was like, no, 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 I promise I did it right, and if I didn't, then it is what it is. We make it work, like Tim Gunn says, we make it work, and you know what is funny? We are back on a binge watch in our house of Sophia the First, um, about once a year or twice. My daughter starts at the beginning of Sophia the First and makes it all the way through. Sometimes she, last year, she was creature of habit and routine and did it like three times in a row. I really don't care because I think it's a precious show. It has great music. It's not irritating like for more than an hour, you know, like an hour or whatever she watches it. Well, Tim Gunn is Bailiwick, if you've ever watched. Bailiwick is like the house steward, um, the house man, the man of the house. He, uh, man of the castle, excuse me, he's the man of the castle. Um, he's Bailiwick. Bailiwick takes care of all of us. Da, da, ma, ma, ma. Anyway, um, he says, let's make it work as Bailiwick, which I thought was really cool. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha, Tim Gunn. Anyway, all right, so then on the third, I did pull out um, Little House Needlework Suffrage Act. My goal is to finish this by election day on November 3rd, but I've got to pull it out more than just on the third. I have figured that one out. This lives in a Love You More Studio Co. pouch. It's not a mystery 18 count Ada from Mystic Fabrics that I got around Christmas time. She did some grab bags. But it was kind of just the perfect piece for this. Um, I am actually stitching this on the 18 count with one strand of the called for classic color works. And so I have suffrage finished. Um, I think I had S-U-F-F. -F. So I did rage suffrage. Um, so my, I, my thought process is I got to finish the words. Then I need to bounce down and do the bricks. And then... I can do the other stuff. Although now I'm thinking her dress is pretty incredible. Yeah. This is a fun project though. It's super fun. And it's very you it's very user friendly. It's very beginner friendly, honestly. Because everything's pretty close. The letters are pretty like like you know, okay, the middle of the letters is always at the same spot. So you can kind of gauge where you are. All right, one that I pulled out several mornings and or evenings this week was Teresa Kogut, Kogut, Pray, and I'm a, obsessed with this, and um, I have bought some more. Stitching this in the called for DMC. This is on 28 count uh, Lugana, two over two, and I believe it's like an ash rose. I purchased it from a seller on um, stash unload a while back a big piece for a insane price and I, you know I chopped off what I needed and it didn't have a name but it reminds me very much of my 25 count ash rose lugana so I did quite a bit more so you can start to see her eye is taking more shape it's like her eyebrow-ish her cheek her hair is starting to come into play this is a beautiful chart she is going to be um more olive complexion, I think, than what it looks like in the chart. Now, that could be wrong. I could be wrong. She looks paler here than how this is stitching up. And I don't know if it's because I haven't gotten the colors next to it. I'm not I'm not mad about it. Do not get me wrong. I think it's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited about this one. And getting back to this. Oh, and this one lives in a project bag that I sewed with some fabric I found at Joanne's with some Rickaracka. Rickaracka. And the last project I worked on lives in a Diddly Daddle Designs enhanced stitcher bag. And this is, um, well, this was a mania. And I worked on this last night. I'm pushing kind of for a finish on this because I think it's fun and I'm ready for it to be done. Um, not because I'm not loving stitching on it. It's just a fun, easy stitch. Love that about Lizzie Kate's. This is Lizzie Kate Farm Sampler. And this is one of her little snippets. And this is on an 18 count piece, I believe a Veteris from Mystic Fabrics. It is still on the Q-Snap because I was working on it. Um, and I say I did a lot, I really didn't. 
Um, I kind of was falling asleep last night. I did the horse. He needs his mane, but I worked on the horse and he needs his hooves. But this is such a fun, cute stitch. Now I did a conversion on this, um, and I will share it when it's finished. Um, some, I think it was mostly color and cotton, some gentle arts. Classic color work, Sherry Cobbler is the barn. Um, so yeah, that is all of the whips. Yeah, that's all the whips. So the largest portion of this video is going to be stash, stash, and um, life update at the very end. So I think what I wanna talk about is I wanna show you this kitted project. So, um, and this is actually part of stash as well. Did I show you this last week? I don't know. Um, I ordered from my LNS, which is the Stitch Niche in Arlington, Texas. Um, they are open for curbside, I believe, still. I don't know that they're open to, like, go in and shop. But you can absolutely call them. They will make you up an order. They'll even ship it. I don't live but 20 minutes, but I had them ship it because, hmm, hashtag lazy. Quarantine has made me lazy. Everything is drive up, so why not, why not use it? But I did go ahead and secure myself. Um, project quarantine so I thought this was such a beautiful beautiful chart by Brenda Gervais um, and I actually pulled a piece of that seraphim fabric I showed not too long ago um, this is in Scout and as you can see it's a light but it's got kind of some bluish gray within um, it is 36 counts, so apparently I'm going to do one over one on 36 which is fine because I have autumn drum that I need to be working on too that's got some one over one on 40. So I might as well ease myself into one over one on 36. Um, I did a bit of converting because I didn't have everything that it called for. Um, I don't know that I had anything that it called for. And I'm kind of combining some colors. So I have some color and cotton. I did not put these um, on a ring yet. I haven't punched them all yet. I have this mystery um, color and cotton which is a deep blue this actually came out of Prairie School or Christmas Tree Farm I have khaki by color and cotton I have old lace by color and cotton I have molasses color and cotton I have silt by color and cotton I think this is the words is gonna be in silt and I believe molasses is gonna be the sewing bobbins at the bottom and the other brown details the red, because it's like a tomato-y red, is this mystery one from Color and Cotton that also came out of Christmas Tree Farm. Um, I'm going to be using Victorian Motto Rosebud for something. I don't remember what. And then the skin, I'm doing Victorian Motto Antique Bobbin. And I dropped my green, so hold on. And then the green is Color and Cotton Spanish Moss, which I just got from them. It was in my stash last week. So I don't know when this is getting started. I probably would like to start it soon because it is all about stay home and stitch. Um, but as to when it will actually get started, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't have a like set thought in my mind. Um, okay, so let's talk stitchy kindness because that kind of came in at the same as stashy stash. So I had two of my friends. I call them my friends. Y'all are my friends. They're viewers, but they're my friends, who reached out to me and said, hey, for your one-year floss tube anniversary, and because you're such a great friend, can I send you something? I said, sure. I mean, I felt I feel kind of compelled to be like, you don't need to send me anything. And I do say that. I usually say, oh, you don't need to send me anything. Um, but they sent me things, and I thought that was precious of them. And I asked both of them if it was okay to share and they both said it was perfectly fine and I have to share because I'm over the moon about them. I'm, oh my gosh. So the first one came from Kathy. Kathy, I've mentioned, she's watched me since the beginning. She um, a lot of times likes to do the projects I'm doing and I've helped her with some color conversions. She's made me pouches and sent them to me. I mean, just a true, true friend. And she sent me a beautiful note I think this is such a cute little card with like the little patterned leaves on it and she was just so kind and just you know shared happy one year anniversary and thank you for being a joy to me well thank you for being a joy to me Kathy and she sent me this chart and it or it's a kit actually and it's by design works and it's called be joyful 
Is that not beautiful? It's so beautiful. It might be above my stitchy pay grade. Because it looks like it's got like some half stitches on it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna power through. But it comes with um, some Ada. It comes with some beads. It comes with the floss card and some beautiful colors of floss. Look at how pretty those are. So I did tell her that I'm not going to stitch on this 14 count white Ada. This will go to my daughter's stash for her projects, um, and I will pull something from stash to stitch this on. I don't know when I'm gonna start it, but it's so pretty gosh and it's a bluebird and it looks like the bluebird that's in my um joy diamond painting and this oh it's got little heart flowers be joyful i love it i love it kathy thank you so much i love it so much so then mandy said can i send you something and i was like okay at first i was like no you cannot you cannot does anybody else ever feel uncomfortable with people giving you gifts? Is that just me? I like giving people gifts. But I am very gracious when people think to reach out to me. And she sent me a super cute card with llamas on it. Look at those llamas with yarn. So cute. I died. I died and was resurrected. These are incredible are absolutely incredible and her note before I even looked at what was in the box was like I know you make project bags but I had this idea and I wanted to try it out and so I hope you love them I adore them and I'm afraid that you're gonna have to have a business now of these because they are so incredible so incredibly okay there are no words no more words well first she sent me a chart and this chart has been on my wish list so I'm so excited and this is the Madame Chantilly Celebrate 4th of July. How cute is that? I love Betsy Ross right there. So cute. So this was on my wish list. Yay! Thank you. Okay, so this is the back of the bag. And so this is what I saw in the box was this folded up. There's two of them, but I'm going to show them to you. Like, I got a sus There's suspense. The suspense needs to build. So this is the back. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty. That is a beautiful fabric, isn't it? Shut the front door with that. That is quilted, pieced joy. Like, I might cry, like, with how amazing this is. How incredible. And, I mean, like, didn't even do straight line quilting, but, like, did some cool wavy patterns and then even a zipper pull. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm over the moon, and it's got the same cute fabric on the inside. adore it I absolutely adore it so then if that wasn't enough this is the other one look at how fun that is turquoise with the bright yellow which is basically what my classroom is <laughs> I love it oh my gosh I love it so I'm not sure what's going in both of them I think that the be joyful needs to go in one of them probably this one but I don't know it may go in the other one but oh my stars oh my stars in heaven adore it adore it and then look at the inside so I didn't even notice that how cute those are the oh my gosh oh my gosh she's a genius genius I'm gonna give you a round of applause oh my gosh I'm overcome by how amazing this community is need to call it day there and no, I'm just kidding I have too much stash to show um but I had to share that I had to I had to I had to I had to I know some people don't like to watch stitchy kindness but that's incredible and that's sheer talent and that's kindness beyond measure from Miss Kathy mm, just incredible incredible okay plans I think I skipped a step here plans um, so I had in said I was going to do enchanted stitching. I think I still am, but I, I kind of decided I need to get back to some of my whips. So what I did was I set up a wheel in my, excuse me, 
in Tiny Decisions, that's the app I used all throughout Mania, with my projects on it, all of them, including my Manias. And um, I'm going to spin that every other day. Yeah, every other day. And I'm going to work on whatever project gets picked for two days. And then go to the next two days. Two days. So I'm going to do that for the remainder of June. And my hope is that those will fit in with the Enchanted Stitching prompts in some way. With four prompts and spinning things every two days, we'll see how that works. It may be that I have to pick, because that's not going to work unless I'm able to double dip a project for two, like to use a, pro a project for more than one. Crap, I didn't think about that. Okay, anywho, that is what I'm gonna do, whether it fits in with Enchanted Stitching or not, I don't know. It could be the, I just choose to go for like the um, 30, I think there's a 30 minute of stitching level, there's a low level, and I could do that with my 30 minute of stitching on my oldest project. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, anyway. I don't know where I went with that. Okay, so then looking ahead to July, I have solidified that July is going to be all Christmas whips. Yay. I am going to have probably one new start on July 4th, um, and it's going to be the new Teresa Kogut sampler if it gets to me in time. Um, more on that to come. More details later because I don't actually have it. All right, so speaking of things to come, let's look at some stash. How about that? And I am sorry for the inundation that is the stash this week. It's it's a bit. Oh my gosh! I might break my arm trying to get it from where it was. This basket is full this week, folks. Joy filled stashy stash time. It's joy filled stashy stash time. And this bucket is full. So we're going to start with just some stash unload stuff. Stash unload slash stash unloading cross stitch only. So I have two groups I belong to. I do link them. Not last week, but the week before I did. So a seller on there was selling these cute little kitted up um, prairie schooler charts. So she gives you... The chart and the floss to complete it as well as a piece of it looks like even weave on these but they're the little cute like pass along cards um, and so of course this is a squirrel Christmas tree so I thought that if my thought was to have a, maybe a couple of little ornament starts in July for Jolly July um, along with working on the whips and so I thought that one would be really cute and it came with the like red red DMC for it so that was one of them that I grabbed from her. And then the other one, I thought this was, it says, uh, it says, Ba Ba Black Sheep Wool. And it's got three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives next door. And it has the, you can see the flosses, and then it again has just a neutral even weave. Probably a Luke on it is my guess. I got those two. Then from a seller, I bought these. It is missing um, H and I, but the deal was too good to pass up. So this is the Heart and Hand Alphabet Mania. So I think I paid $10 for all of these, but it is missing H and I. So you've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then H and I are missing J, I love that one. L. <laughs> Little lamb. M. N. Oh, I love the owl. P. Q. Quilt block. R. I love the robin. S. Strawberry. Love it. T. Cup of tea. U. Unicorn. That will be stitched for a little one in a conversion. V. Violet, W, X, xylophone, Y, yolk. I think that one's so cute. See, I have a problem with yolk too. Yolk and folk, and zebra, Z. 
And then this, it's blank, but it's for personalizing. So you can make your own. Um, I don't have distinctive plans. They're not going to all be stitched together um, like as one huge sampler. But I thought they could be cute for making up different words. Um, of course, the unicorn's going to get stitched for the one little one. One thing I might do with the unicorn is I had thought instead of putting U for unicorn, since there's a V already charted, would be to put V for her initial. From that same seller, I purchased the Spring Snapperland, which I had not seen this. And it, she actually sent me the, um, I'm going to show it from far away, but this is, this is available on their website, but this is the frame for it. And it says, there are always flowers for those who want to see them, which is precious. I'm going to stitch that. And, whoops, this um, charm pack for it. With the butterfly and bees and all of that. But anyway, it's a series of four charts by Bent Creek. So there's Hutch, which is adorable. Hive. Cottage. And Coop. And so I will be stitching that at some time or another. But I'm happy to have it in my stash. All right, so then from another seller on Stash and Load, I got a few charts. Um, I actually have a plan for this one. This is um, Country Cottage Needleworks Beach Cottage. Um, you know, our family is obsessed with Animal Crossing, so I'm going to stitch this from here up, and then at the bottom it's going to say something about Animal Crossing on it because I've lost my mind. With the customization. That same seller, I got this one from Little House Needleworks, which is Sing to the Lord. I love it. It's got sheep. I love Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. And then this one I had not seen, um, but I thought it was pretty. I don't know when I'll get to it, but this is from the Nebby Needle, and this is Heritage Sampler. I loved the um, letters in the middle, a house. The keys are beautiful. Um... So yeah, I really thought this was very pretty. The border I thought was unique with just the flowers at the top and the bottom and that peacock. So cool. And it's charted in either DMC or color, um, sorry, classic color works, gentle arts. All right, so um, seller was selling some old just cross stitch magazines. This one is from December 2001 and this cover image sold me. This is a shepherd's bush design. And it says, far, far away, I'll read it like this. Far, far away on Jude Judea's plains, shepherds of old heard the joyous strains. Peace on earth, goodwill towards men. So, I loved that. I think there were a couple of others in here, but it was enough to want the shepherd's bush chart. Um, from another seller, I got this piece of 36 count linen. Um, it is lakeside, but she couldn't tell me, a, she didn't know the name of it, but it was too beautiful to pass up it's absolutely stunning it may just be kind of a one one of a kind die um but i had to have it it is so so lovely um uh, okay um different seller it might have actually been the same lady but she had posted more on another day she posted some of her other lakeside linens um this is a stitcher's eight of 32 count green tea which is really pretty. It's not showing up super well, but it's very pretty. Um, so, add that to my stash of 32s. And then another 32. This is a small cut, a 9 by 13 of Lakeside Blue. So it's very small, but this would be great for an ornament. And it's very pretty. It's kind of a denim -y blue. Okay, so then, whew, excuse me, this needs to go further back. Oh, there we go. Okay, so then from another seller, I got a few charts. I try to, if I'm going to buy a chart, um, I try to see if there's anything else, just to maximize my shipping cost. So this was a cute little Lizzie Kate called Buzz, and as far as I know, I'm going to investigate this. I think it, um, she sent it with the linen, but I don't think it has any of the threads. No, but it still is super cute. So this is Buzz, and it has the, like, chartreuse green linen. So that one's fun. Um, 
I had not seen this anywhere, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I just hadn't seen it. This is Midsummer Night's Designs Hearts Peace, and it says, May peace be with you. Let not your heart be troubled or afraid as God is near. And I needed that. I saw it and I went, gotta have it. And it's charred in DMC. But I will be converting it. Because if it looks like that, it's not my jam. Um, I think it's beautiful, but it's not my jam. I will convert it to what I like. So it's called Hearts Peace. And the last one I got, this was the one I saw and went, okay, what else does she have? And then I saw that and I was like, bingo. Um, this is Work Basket. And I've seen this one before and I've been drawn to it several times. And this is Four Corner Houses. And I just think it's so pretty. Um... So, yeah, it's another one. All right, so then today, like right before I filmed this, I got um, some mail, and it included my Mystic Fabrics Fabric of the Month. So, if you do not want to be spoiled, I will say, spoiler alert, turn it off now. Now, turn it off. Um, her fabric this month is called Diversity, and I get the 18 Count Ada um, Zweigert 21 by 24 piece, and it is beautiful. It's a beautiful, neutral gray it's got a little bit of a purplish undertone to it it's very pretty a purplish blue undertone and she's getting all schnazzy with her printed like sticker labels and my names on there it's like look at you go um and of course she still sends candy so i got a gigantic one two three stitch order i placed this one way back at like the middle to beginning of april and it just took them a while um, I had, a, there's a lot of cuts of fabric in here, um, but I bought a lot of 8x12s, 8x12 little small cuts for um, various and sundry different things. So the first thing in here is Vent Creek's Nativity Row. Um, I've been loving all the different, buying all the, and finding all the different rows, and of course I had to have Nativity. I, this order also contained my Garden Club, the final design I did not have yet, which was Fairy Garden. And I also picked up a few of the Blackbird stocking charts. So this is the one for April called April Showers. I got Glorious June. I love this one. I love the little quilted looking one. Patriotic July. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Love them all. Merry December. And so Merry December does not have all three images on the front. It has this one. And on the back you have this one. And I love the house with the cardinal. That is a lot of white stitching. That's a lot of white stitching. So I got those four. Um, they had a steal of a deal on this 28 count. This is Lavender Rose Lugana. I don't know what it's for. But it was like insanely priced. Um, so yeah. About that. And apparently I got towards the end or beginning of the cut because it's got the actual manufacturer shack. And then here comes the parade of Picture This Plus fabrics. So I got, let's just do this. I got 18 count fog in a small piece. Some of these are for the stockings. 18 count Heartland, these are both small cuts. 18 count Jade, this is beautiful. That's another small cut. 18 count sterling, which I love. I have at least one project on already. Here's an 18 count earthen, which you know is my obsession currently. And I got a 12 by 17 piece of it too. I'm gonna always have that in my stash. Dill, I did not have dill until now and I'm happy I have it now because it's pretty. Cherub, these are all small cuts now I think. Oh no, not this one. Barnwood, 18 count, that's a 12 by 17. Ariel. That's a small cut. That's really pretty light blue. And then I got a 16 count. Um, this was a little on a little bit of a sale. This is a 16 count Wren, um, 17 by 25. So I think the restocking of the counts that I enjoy is complete. Now all that comes is just my fabrics of the month. So there's more in here. So... I placed an order with um, Teresa Kogut um, on her Etsy shop. She is doing a wonderful, wonderful thing right now. She has a series of charts that she has created that are for PDF download only that she is donating the proceeds of each given chart to a brick and mortar store, which I think is awesome. And I found out about this through, I think I heard about it through Pam and Steph 
from one of their videos a while back. And it so happened that one of the ch the chart that I bought, not I've got a hard copy chart, but the the digital chart I bought is one of those. So the one that I purchased is um I'll tell you who it's benefiting. Um this one is benef benefiting um Shepherd's Bush of Ogden, Utah. And this chart, I saw it. Um, the background is not stitched, so I went on and found, um, I'm placed an order with Color and Cotton for a color. This is gonna go in my daughter's room. So this is She Believes She Could, So She Did. And I am obsessed. She's a blondie, like my daughter. She's adorable. With that crown and that little hand up. Like, yeah, I got it. She believed she could, so she did. So I bought that one, um, and I've got two different cuts uh, on order from Color and Cotton. I'll see which one I like better, um, and I might convert a few of the little floss colors um, to make it w one of them work. The other one that I picked up while I was there um, was, this one was, I think, a market release this year. No, maybe not. Um, but this is Joyful Scene. But I loved it. I mean, it's got Santa. It's got a deer, it's got a sheep, it's got a bird, and it says joy, and it's just so cute. So, yep, this is on my list for at some point. So, yeah, go look at those Teresa Kogut charts. There's another one that's Girl Boss that's adorable that's on my list. Um, I think it's now through the end of the year or from maybe a month ago until the end of the year. So I think that's a fantastic cause. I applaud her. Her charts are adorable. There's some with like cows. They're kind of all over the place in terms of genre. So there's surely something you could find. I will link her shop below. Okay, so this week um, we had our um, sampler guild. I am part of the Tudor Rose Sampler Guild. Um, our monthly meeting. Last month was a Zoom meeting. The month before was a Zoom meeting. This month was a Zoom meeting. I was able to attend last month's Zoom meeting. I was not this week. However, we were told at the last one, we got a really beautiful chart um, from Erica Michaels for a berry design that's for our 20th anniversary. Um, I can't show it because I don't have a cover, cover image. But we were told in that meeting that if we were interested in a chart sight unseen from Heartstring Samplery for June, it's June's surprise chart to, you know, contact this person da, 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 da. so they sent them out right before the meeting and then it says don't open until the meeting for fear the frog will come and get you like frog rip it rip it rip it rip. I didn't I opened it after I knew the meeting was already over or thereabouts and I am obsessed and Beth Twist is a genius so this was our chart Tudor Rose Biscornia is that more gorgeous insanely gorgeous so this will probably be my first Biscorni. I've already pulled two of the called for flosses. I don't have the others. So maybe doing some converting or I might be ordering. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided that. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. Fat quarter shop order that I did a while back came in. Um, it includes the floss pack for the Summer Daisies chart, which is the... Stitching with the Housewives chart that's coming out in the summer issue of the Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher. I picked this up when it was available and a couple of other charts scurried along their way. This is Inspirational Scriptures from Little House. I think this is a re-release of all of these. I have done this one, All Things Are Possible to Him Who Believes. This is one I saw Sarah stitching and I think she said she was going to send it to me. Um, I love this one, Be Joyful and Hope. Um, may your unfailing love be my comfort. Let your, sorry, my eyes went a little cross. Gentleness be evident to all, be rich in good deeds. And so my thought is I'm going to stitch these all on the same count fabric and have them as rotating ones in, um, in my classroom. Because I teach at a Christian school, if you did not know that. Um, I love this one, Fear Not. This is based on Isaiah 41.10. And this is from Little House Needleworks. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And this one, um, was. it says, there's a note right here that says, designed for my journey through breast cancer treatment and recovery. And I just think it's a beautiful design. 
so I snagged that one. And then this one, um, Silver Creek Samplers, this is Michael's Prayer. Lord, send me where you want me to go. Let me meet folks you want me to know. Tell me the words you want me to say. And then it says, tenderly keep me out of your way. Amen. And this is Michael Judge. And there's a story on the back that says Michael Judge was a Franciscan friar and Catholic priest who served as a chaplain to the New York City Fire Department while serving in that capacity. He was killed, becoming the first certified fatality of the September 11, 2001 attacks. The inspiration for this sampler came from a prayer said by Father Michael. Um, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know. I... I didn't know the story behind it. I bought it because I think this is incredible. Like, this is exactly the words that I need to read each and every day of my life. I don't know that I will stitch the bottom part. I think I might put the notation from the chart on the back so that there's information about where this, the significance of this. However, I don't know that I will actually stitch that part. But I don't know that. All right, so then I got my Color and Cotton Fabric of the Month. I am on, this was my last month of a 36 count prepaid that I did, a six month prepaid. So I did go ahead and get my 13 by 17. This month is Swiss coffee. Um, because I'm loving the 36, I went ahead and upped a monthly subscription to the fat quarter. So I also have this in a fat quarter size. So I have a fat eighth and a fat quarter. And because I'm just extra, I have an 18 count fat quarter. And I think this is the way that their things are gonna come now. And I love it. I did one final threads and twine order before my coupon code ran out because there was something I really wanted and I grabbed two other charts at the same time. So I grabbed a Blackbird Designs Gathering Basket. I think that's adorable. I grabbed this other Madame Chantilly. This is Freedom. And I think this little mouse right here holding this is so cute. I also like this one where he's holding this right here. Um, I don't know that I'll stitch all of it. I'm thinking I will probably stitch the mouse holding the flag with the stars. But I think he's so cute. This was the real reason. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Sweet land of liberty. I'm so excited. Um, I saw somebody on Instagram post this and I was like, gotta have it. I saw somebody stitching this. I said, okay, gotta have it. Saw somebody stitching this. I was like, okay, I get it. I gotta have it. So, and then I've seen somebody stitching this and it's gorgeous. And what's the fifth one? Am I blind? Because the one on the back is the one on the front. I don't want to open the crinkliness of it, but um, yeah. So I don't know which one's going to be first, but they're all gorgeous. And you never know with Blackbird if it will go away at some given time. All right, we are almost done with this, which is good because, yeah. All right, so my your own tote bags bag of the month came and it's Tula it's Tula fabric is that not insane oh my gosh it's so pretty and then the inside is cute daisies Ugh. love it 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 okay so then the very final thing and you know I talked about how the 28 Monaco is now like my, my new my new jam I have every counts my new jam but there is a seller, and I've talked about her before, Oksana. She is a hand, she's a dyer, and she posts her fabrics in stash unloading. And she ships, her prices include the shipping within the US, and she dyes Monaco. So guess who picked up some Monaco? That'd be me. So I got a fat quarter of this color. They don't have names, but is that not beautiful? So it's kind of a grayish with some greenish. I'm dying over this one. Beautiful. I'm loving this one too. Look at that. So pretty. And this one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, I did pick up four of these, but they are beautiful. I'm loving the Monaco. I have tried my hand at dying. That is something I know I am not good at. So I will not try that again because it just came out as a mess. I will let others do it and I will find other things to use my talents for. All right, so that's the end of the stitchy stuff. So now I'm gonna do a tiny bit of life update from this week, and then that's gonna be it for us this week. So, life update this week. 
last we left, I talked about how I was really struggling with my anxiety. It's gotten better as the week has gone on. I am still really struggling in the mornings. Um, I wake up about seven o'clock and I'm usually good to go for the day, like feeling much better about things, not feeling that knot in my stomach by noon. I've tried um, to have a purpose when I get up. And so one day I got up and I pulled out Cray and started stitching on that. And that seemed to help a bit. Um, it's still there. So I'm just continuing to hope that with time that's going to get better. So husband went back to work on Monday. This week has been interesting. Um, he went Monday. And then Tuesday he was off because they didn't need a full crew. And I kept just telling him, I need you to just go to work. I need you to get back on your routine so that I can get back on my routine. Um, so he went Wednesday and Thursday, but they called them both short shifts. Um, they sent them home at 6.30. Now this next week he will be there, his normal shift. And all three shifts will be back. And then today he's been doing plumbing calls all day. So some of the things that I've been doing to kind of help myself mentally a bit is finding things to do. So one day we went, um, we had a friend that wanted to borrow some books from my classroom library, so we went up to the school and got those. Sometimes just a drive in the car is great. Um, we visited the Costco and got some things that we needed from there. So that was something new and different. Um, we're looking for some new living room furniture. And so we went and looked at a couple of places. We are being very cautious. We're wearing masks. We're doing all the things that we're supposed to do. I think it's also helping me get a bit more used to the mask situation and the oven that I'm wearing them in the fall. Um, I think it's good for a little one to get out and be amongst like people <laughs> and not be at home. Um, Tuesday was rough because I had the ultrasound in the morning um, and I slept at my parents that night and did not sleep super well um, and was very anxious couple of you texted me to see how things went and I appreciate that and I you know it was nice to be able to share where my heart was um once I was actually in having the scan everything was went went well and I calmed down and all of that I think it's hard when you get up and you're fasting and you already have kind of a not so like a queasy-ish kind of feeling in your stomach you know kind of that not like impending you know this is anxiety my manifest through my tummy-ish area amongst my head and all of that. Um, and then, so Tuesday was the day I didn't stitch, which I probably needed it. I probably should have. But by the end of that day, I literally crashed. When we got home and went to bed, like little one went to bed, I laid down, watched Floss Tube, and was asleep within like 30 minutes. I had promised her she could sleep in my bed one night, but I told her she needed to get, you know, I needed a good night's rest. That might have been Tuesday night. Oh, that was Tuesday night. She wanted to sleep in my bed. And there's very little I'm going to say no to that child right now because she is precious to me. She is my calming influence. I told her that last night when we were rocking after we read stories. Um, yes, I still rock occasionally, my eight and a half year old, because I'm going to do it as long as she will let me. Because it will break my heart the day. That I can't and I will tell you somebody once said to me one day you will pick your child you will put your child down and never pick them back up again and I went oh my god and then I realized that that happened one day and it was like the most devastating thing when you only have one and you realize that each thing that's the last of something there's not somebody coming behind that you can do that with again so if she wants me to rock her until she's 13 I will do it no big deal so she slept in the bed with me um, that was one reason I didn't get stitching is I usually will stitch in the evenings but she goes to bed at 8 she's asleep at 8 or hopefully asleep at 8 so we did that and then um, like I said we've been looking for furniture we found some and I think tomorrow the husband's going to pay for it and bring some of it home um, we, we bought a set for our family room that was great at the time but it is broken down and I mean we're hard on furniture 
we live in that room basically but it's kind of insane and it hurts my back to sit on it like I can't mm -mm. and one of this one of the seats that was always my seat was where I had the panic attack when the people came in and I was dehydrated and all of that and I literally since then have not been able to sit there that bad like it's attached to that seat so I think we found a set um and then today we went it was so much fun we went um our club opened memorial day weekend um that has the swimming pool and all of that and they do reservations they're only open to 158 people total which is 25 percent capacity for the pool area it's a huge pool and it's got a kids pool and all of that um but you were you reserve a three hour slot and so we got a slot for this morning from 10 to 1 and it was great we had lunch out there little one had been dying to get in the pool now her molded earplugs have not come in yet that's a long drawn out story as well um but I managed to figure something out to we found some on Amazon that are probably going to work because she has swim lessons this next week and I was not canceling another week of those um so yeah and then we've got camps coming towards the end of the month for her that are going to have some good protocols in place I believe starting this weekend we are entering phase three of opening here in Texas which is most everything can go to 50% capacity um, and you know what it's a it's okay we're doing what we need to do we're being safe we're going the places that are only necessary it's not like I'm going and like wandering the target um, the thought has crossed my mind but it's not the same enjoyable experience when you're wearing a mask and there's a lot of people around that are not wearing masks but we do wear ours including little one she wears one um she has a couple um so yeah we it's been an up and down kind of a week some down and then some up i'm feeling pretty good today i've got something exciting going on tomorrow in the morning to look forward to more on that to come i'm not going to share that with you but it's something pretty exciting i'm i'm really excited i'm really thrilled um so, so be watching for some other fun stuff. And I know I said I was going to put up my interview with Becca on Sunday. And I completely forgot. And I'm just now remembering that. So I will probably get that one put up here pretty soon. Um, and I think that's just about going to do it for the update. I want to again say just how much each one of you means to me. And I do mean that from the bottom of my heart. This has been a very interesting time in our world. I've seen some very unique things. Um recently about how you know a lot of people have said you know 2020 just needs to go away 2020 is over 2020 needs to be over and I saw something very poignant today um Michelle Cozier posted I also saw one of my friends on Facebook posted and talked about how maybe 2020 is what we all needed as an eye-opening change moving forward to fix things that are broken to fix things that are not working right. Um, I am thrilled to have this community. I am thrilled to have just so many wonderful people around me, both in, in per my personal life and in this, this life, this world, um, and to have my stitching to go to. And you know what? There's something to be said for having the amount of whips that I have. There's always something I will work on. Very rarely this week have I found where I'm like, I want to work on nothing. I've got all kinds of things on all kinds of counts of fabric, and that has been a blessing. So there is a bonus to having that many whips, but my hope is, is that things are going to continue to go well. I do have a, I'm very excited about having an appointment for an intake with a counseling service on Tuesday. Um, basically, I'm going to have kind of an interview with the head of the program at this wonderful counseling place that has a lot of service providers, a lot of counselors, um, and she will pair me with someone. And then I should be able to get in pretty fast to start doing some sessions. And I think that that's gonna be very helpful because there's a lot I need to chat about. I'm chatting a lot to you, but there's a lot that I need to chat about that I don't even share here. So, um, thank you again. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a great week ahead until I see you next Friday. Um, it feels like it's been a hundred years since I talked to you last week, but I know it's only been a week and maybe this week will be a little faster. We'll see. But anyway, I will say to you,
my dear friends. So long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye and see you super soon.